Deb. Stradivate. And welcome back to our little Bulgarian adventure. The weather's taken a turn for the better. Yeah, it's been gorgeous the last couple of days. And it's only going to get better. Yeah, I think Monday we're due to get, by Monday we're due to get up to 30 degrees. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just lovely. It's far too hot to have any long sleeve things on. Yeah, so I've rolled my sleeves up. <laughs> Anyone that knows Adam knows even that's a major thing. Wow. But what have we been doing? We've had a busy week, really. Yeah. Um, we finally finished getting the spare room sorted. Yes, we did tease you a bit last week. It wasn't quite ready to show you. Well, guess what? This week it is. Have a look. So we finished that off on Friday afternoon. Yes, it's a, a good job well done. Yeah, <laughs> I'm quite happy with it. It works works really well. We may turn the bed round. We have options. Then we have people come stay for longer than a night. Yes. Because I think it would look nicer that way. But it's a lovely room. Yeah. And I can definitely still get, might get to grips with my painting and things I've been meaning to for ages. I've never <laughs> had the space to do it before. So we've brought our room back to Almost full-time use. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it had to have a dual purpose. Yeah. Um, we haven't got enough rooms to have a, just a bed room that sits as a spare bedroom. Ah. For the huge amount of guests we have. <laughs> well, absolutely. <laughs> but we are getting some. <laughs> Speaking of guests, we were guests ourselves somewhere this week. We were, yes. We went off to see Ivan and Teresa uh, from New Beginnings in Bulgaria. I'll put a link there, there, yeah. somewhere. <laughs> the description. I don't think you can work out how to do it quite on the list. We'll see. <laughs> but yes, we spent Saturday up with them and had yeah. a lovely day. Stayed yeah. overnight. We met their Bulgarian neighbour Stefan. Yeah, who makes the most wonderful honey. <laughs> so yes, we, we bought a lot of honey. And we it's, did. It's all delicious. It's all delicious. It was honey with cream, honey with hazelnuts and cream. Chocolate. Honey with chocolate. We had cream. some eggs from him, we had some gherkins from him. Oh, it was brilliant. The gherkins were from Ivan. Oh, no, Ivan's gherkins. Yeah, Sorry. Ivan's gherkins. <laughs> Thank we you, Ivan. came back laden <laughs> with projects. <laughs> and wine and yes. sauce and all sorts of Brilliant. Yeah, the wine, Ivan's wine for this year was truly lovely. Yes. Both the white and the red, and the rosy was also incredibly drinkable. <laughs> <laughs> so we had quite a nice evening there. We did. And then you helped Ivan. Yes, we'll leave that to Ivan's we'll video. Yeah. Yeah, yes. <laughs> we're, we're not sure if, it, if, it, if it's still standing, but we'll, Shh. we'll see. <laughs> Don't tempt fate. Don't tempt fate. Yes. <laughs> so we got back here and we decided better get on and sort out the last room we have to sort out. Yes. Now, this is the last time, hopefully, we're moving stuff from one room to another room to another room. <laughs> yes, so the, last, the nice tidy room that you saw at the end of 
our video. It doesn't look like that anymore because everything's been moved in out of the corridor into that room. Yeah. I've started organising cupboards everywhere, which is good because it's been some spring cleaning everything. But yeah. Adam hates it. I, I can never find anything. I can't. <laughs> it all moves. He does apparently. <laughs> and despite the fact I say to you, man, go, now this is where this is now, and this is where this is. Short term memory loss. It just doesn't get it. Beyond me. I get used to something, a place for everything, everything in its place, and don't move it. Yeah. <laughs> but hopefully, this now will be the last time we move these. It is, because as we said, we've started on the last room we have to do, which is the hallway. Yes, and well, I think I finally emptied my last plastic container from the UK <laughs> from three years ago. Three, um, three and a half years. Oh, three and a half years. Yeah. Good, really. So, we're making progress. We are. <laughs> But and you did start on the corridor. I did. Um, there's not that many jobs to do out there, but there's a few kind of biggish ones. Well, we started with one of the big ones. Um, this is what we did. Now that the spare room is pretty much complete, it's time to move on to the very last room we have to do inside the house itself. And that is our hallway. There are various jobs that need to be done here. This is the end wall that is the outside wall of our shower room and toilet. I put the wall up originally, leaving it to be plastered until we came to do the hallway. Well, that time has come. This is also the last room in which we have exposed cables that need channeling in. So that'll be another little chapter closed and our rewire finally completed. Our first job though is going to be taking up this floor, cleaning out underneath, reconcreting it, getting it ready for tiling. Now this is the worst part of the floor. You can see where the floorboards have, have decayed and rotted. Now that's due to there being damage on the roof, water coming through there, through the ceiling, down onto the floor and through the floor. Now we will repair the roof, we will repair the ceiling. First things first though, we'll do the floor, concrete it and give ourselves a nice stable surface to work from and a, surf and a nice level surface to tile. So that's the floorboards and the supporting joists out from the floor now. Um, this is what's left, as in the other rooms that we've cleared like this. It's got the loose soil between the joists, which are, I think basically there for insulation and packing. So we've got to dig that out now, clear this area up so it's prepared and ready for the concreting. And that's the floor with the debris mostly cleaned up. There's still a few loose bits and pieces that need tidying up, but most of it is out, taken away, we're now ready for the next stage, which, which is prepare the base, ready for concreting. Once again, the inspectors are on the site. I'm not sure whether they're inspecting my work or looking for somebody to get the loo. Oh no, we're just rolling it. So I've taken the laser level to indicate the level at which I need to lay the concrete. What I'm going to do is I'm going to effectively lay a concrete former down both sides of the corridor here. Um, you'll see it as I go rather than me trying to explain it. But if I do that, allow that to dry, that will give me a good line to be able to level my concrete for the main part of the floor. I mixed the concrete up fairly dry, so let's see how this works.
We now have the two sides of the room concreted up to the level we want the floor to sit at. I've allowed that to dry overnight and you can see either side but it's got a very, very flat top. Um, once I pour the concrete into the middle, we'll use a, a long piece of wood to smooth the concrete out and level that. Um, so that will be a surface for me to then tile on top of once it's set. But uh, that's all we've got time for this week. Um, so we'll carry this on next week. So yes, another couple of days work and the floor will be fully concreted. Um, then we've got the, <laughs> we have a bit of a problem. Max's bedroom is isolated <laughs> by, the, by this floor. So once we do the concrete, he's either trapped in or he's trapped out. <laughs> Um, we're not sure which heap. <laughs> well, well, we, think, we are. We think exactly he's sure. Well, apart from the loo and food. Yeah. So it's a trauma for him. He'd he like to be on his own. He reckons he can work that. He's worked that one all out. Apparently, apparently we just have to pass stuff through the window to him. Ah, OK. Well, we'll work a system. And uh, when we know, we'll let you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when we talked to him about it, it was, you might have to stay locked in your bedroom for 24 hours. He was going, that's oh, what, what a dream. Shame. <laughs> what a shame. <laughs> Max does prefer his bedroom to anywhere else in the whole yeah. world. <laughs> so things are progressing, and with the good weather outside, we can do work out there as well. So yes. it's all systems go. And it definitely gives you more energy once the sun comes yeah. out and you get a bit of lovely weather. See the garden starting to bloom, all the daffodils well, around. Well, we're coming up to strimming season. We have noticed yeah. the grass <laughs> at the bottom end. It's got to be a foot long. Yes. How does that happen? And, and in the gully. We need to oh, do the gully as yeah. well. So. That's the job. Yeah, that's my job. I get out there doing the streaming. While I process wood. <laughs> I'm looking forward to next week. We've got quite a few things happening. We have. What's happening first? Well, first of all, if you're in the UK, today's Good Friday. Yeah. Um, so it's Easter weekend. We it's not here Easter in Bulgaria. For a long time yet. So another month. Um, so you've got plenty of time to send the chocolate and the eggs <laughs> and things. So. Um, yeah, so that's happening well, over the weekend in the UK. Here in Bulgaria, tomorrow, it's the trading at Palomarsa. Yeah, we probably might go over. We think we probably will. I think will. it depends how far he gets with concrete laying yeah. today. Yeah, so we'll see. Yeah, if, we, if we're there. If, we'll we're, if we're there, come say hello. <laughs> um, what else is happening? Oh, it's your birthday next week. Oh, is it? Yeah, it is. 21 again. 21 again. <laughs> I've lost count of how many times I've been 21. Yeah. <laughs> But yes, we don't know, don't know what we're doing yet because you haven't thought about it. I haven't decided. Adam hasn't decided. Where. I've got to do a bit of research. We See usually what... go out for a meal somewhere, don't yeah. we? But where... It's usually VT, but I might do a change this year. Just, you know, just to... Just because I can. It's my day, do what I want. <laughs> I think we will end up in VT personally. We'll see. We'll let you know next week. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. Don't forget this weekend the clocks change. Yes. Both here and in the UK. Yeah, so we're... Uh, Most devices do it automatically, but just in case you've got a, I don't know, a grandfather clock in your hallway, <laughs> you might want to change the time on that, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that's about it for us this week. I think it is. It just leaves us to say... Stay safe. Be well. Dos coro. Dos coro.